Hey y'all, it's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations and I decided to change things up just a little bit. This is not Tumblr or pen related, but I decided to decorate my steering wheel in my Tahoe. I decided to turn it from this plain steering wheel right here into this. I added some leopard print to it and I've got to say I'm pretty much obsessed with it. It makes me want to decorate everything. So I found this company called Artistic Painting Studio and this is what I got in. I ordered the animal print pack and then I also ordered a basic starter kit. The starter kit came with the foil adhesive and it also came with a final, a low gloss final coat. This is the foil ad adhesive right here. And I also ordered a sample pack of just a bunch of different foils that they carry and I'm sure I can find some something to put all of these awesome foils on. It's really neat how these foils work. I am going to be doing a tutorial on adding the foils to a stapler, probably to a pen. Um, I also want to add some foils to a tumbler. After doing this, um, my steering wheel, I'm hooked. So this is the foil that I'm going to use on my steering wheel here. And I've got the foil adhesive. and. I, I wasn't sure what paintbrush I wanted to use, so I chose a bunch of different ones. I also brought a paper plate out and a paper towel because I didn't want to make my seat all messy. So I've got some 91% alcohol and I'm just going to rub down the area on my steering wheel where I'm going to be applying this foil adhesive. You want to make sure it's super clean and free of any oils or anything like that. And this is the foil adhesive. So it is sealed up. This is my first time ever using it. So it was kind of like a, a test run for me with y'all um, because I wanted to show everyone how easy it can be for a first time user. So I've got a paintbrush and I'm just brushing it on. In hindsight, I would probably do a few things a little bit differently. So I live in Florida, it is hot. It is really, really hot in Florida right now. It's August in Florida, so it's warm here. I probably would have cranked my Tahoe up and let it run for a little while before deciding to do this because I don't know if you can tell in this video or not, this foil adhesive is drying really fast because it's hot in there. I did crank my car up and my car is running, my Tahoe is running, but because it had already been in there, it's evening time, I'd already gotten off work, so I'm home from work. It's hot and it, that my, just my steering wheel is hot. so. It's really drying fast and because it dried so fast, I do have a few like brush strokes in there. So I might actually, next time I try to do something like this, I might try using like a foam brush to see if I get less brush strokes or I mean, like I said, just make, make sure it's not quite so hot. So this sec second part here where I'm doing the other side, I sped it up really fast because I mean, it's a little bit redundant to sit here and watch me do both sides of it. So. I'm just painting it on, trying to get as even of a coat as possible. And the side over here, once everything kind of cooled off just a little bit, the, the right side actually dried better without as many brush strokes in it as the left side did. So, and I think that's because it, it did have time to cool off, but just put a nice, nice solid coat on there. And you're going to do the same thing, whether you do this with, um, a tumbler or a stapler or a pen or whatever you want to put it on. You can even put it on clothes. This stuff is so cool. So as you can see here, I'm showing it. It's still, it's partially drying, but it is like, if you see where the white is, the white where is where it's still wet. So it dries sticky to the touch. And I wasn't sure what tools I wanted to use for this. So I just brought out like a whole plethora of different tools and I've got my, uh, my metallic, leopard print here, so my foil. So I actually ended up having one stuck to the back side of it. So before you use it, make sure you don't have any stuck to the back. I had to separate it out real quick. And I wasn't sure how much I was gonna need for this, so I just cut a strip of the, the foil here and I'm just gonna lay it on. And as soon as it makes contact, boom, it's stuck. And I just took my fingers and I started smoothing it down as, so I could get it as smooth as I possibly could over my steering wheel. And because it kind of curves and all that, I took my scissors and I cut a couple spots so that it would lay down nicely over where my steering wheel kind of curved around. And I'm just gonna do this as I make my way around the 
steering wheel here. And <laughs> I kind of want to do all the wood grain of my vehicle now. I'm a little bit hooked on this, but I'm going to have to order more if I do. I ordered a 12 by 12 sheet of this stuff. So I've got my little squeegee thing, and I use this thing on my vinyl all the time. I got it on Amazon, and I use it constantly. And I'll link it down in the description box below. What I like about it is it's got the um, kind of like a felt over the top of it, and it just really helps to push down and make that that foil really stick to that adhe adhesive stuff we put down. And as you can see, it starts releasing and where it releases, it's actually clear on kind of, it's like a clear film that it all sits on. And it, once you like really just get in there and kind of just smooth it on, it, it releases really easily. It was a lot easier of a release than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm just making my way all the way around the steering wheel. Kind of just testing it if you have an area that didn't stick just get in there and like really kind of smooth it down real good i switched squeegees be because this one with the black felt on it isn't as thick and i was really able to get into like those little tight spots and there you go i mean it looks so cool if you have a spot that is kind of a little bit sticky just lay a little bit of the foil back on it and it'll pull pull it off and it'll cover it right up see what i mean by where it releases it's just kind of like a almost like a clear foil or a clear out, outer edge. I don't know what to really call it. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing to this other side. I'm just gonna cut a strip. I'm cutting a strip now and I'm gonna lay it down. And like I said, like this, this right side actually did better for me than the left side did because I think it my steering wheel wasn't, it had had a little bit of time to cool down. It wasn't as hot. So the, the adhesive seemed to really just going a lot smoother it wasn't drying as quickly on me and I do want to mention after I put the adhesive on I waited about an hour I waited right at an hour for the adhesive to dry um, but it dried super quick because it was in my vehicle which is out in the Florida heat so it did dry really quick I probably didn't need to really wait an hour but it is recommended that you wait an hour after applying the foil adhesive before you apply the foil on there and I'm just doing the same thing. I've got my little squeegee here and I am smoothing it out and just pressing it down and you can see it starting to release on my steering wheel here. And I'm really impressed with this stuff. So you can do hats, you can do furniture, you can do clothing items, shoes, tumblers. You can literally put this foil on pretty much anything. So I'm really excited about using it, really exciting about like, or really excited about taking this step into learning more about foil. And I can't wait to try more projects with this stuff. This stuff is, it's really cool. I actually posted it on my personal Facebook page and everyone was like, oh my gosh, I need you to do my vehicle. So I definitely wanna try it out on a few more things before I feel comfortable putting it on other people's vehicles, but I really do. I really do like it. I took my vehicle out to the beach yesterday and it was just so cool. I just stared at it while I was driving. I'm, I'm kind of kind of hooked. I really like it a lot. So as you can see, I'm just, I had a couple little spots where I didn't get the foil on there and I just went back in and smoothed it out. And there you go. Look how cool that is. So I wasn't really sure like how I should, I guess, kind of seal it off. I don't feel like it really necessarily needed to be sealed, but the... The kit I got has this final coat in it. It's a low gloss final coat. So I took a little bit and I poured it into a medicine cup. Let me tell you, I poured way too much into this medicine cup because I did not need that much. I You barely need a splash. So I put it on my paintbrush here and started brushing it on and I noticed that it was like immediately starting to try to run a little bit. So I took this little, um, I guess it's like a little sponge covered in a cloth and I, I just kind of wiped it up a little bit. You don't need much at all. And it gives it a real pretty like shiny finish while you're brushing it on. And then as it dries, it dries to a low gloss. And it dried really super quick. So I actually ended up putting two coats of the final coat over the leopard print pattern here. And then it was, pr it was done. I mean, it, it dried really quick. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel like it's gonna scratch off easily or anything like that. I'm just very impressed with it. So 
I'm pretty much hooked, y'all. Um, I will put a link to Artistic Painting Studio down in the description box below, along with all the other products that I like to use when I make tumblers and all that stuff. So check it out. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe um, so I can put out some more videos for you. I hope that you found this helpful and check them out. This foil is so much fun to put on everything. And like I said before, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you hit the little bell, it'll notify you whenever I post new videos. I hope y'all have a great day. Y'all take care. Bye.